Omnisphere has six LFOs per part, and each LFO has the same set of controls. The steppers control which waveform is selected. The rate controls how fast the LFO cycles, and the depth controls the amount of output signal. From this drop-down menu, the trigger mode can be set. When set to free, the LFO will keep running no matter when a note is played. When set to note, the LFO is re-triggered with every note that is played. When set to legato, the LFO is re-triggered only on the first note of a legato passage. And when it's set to song position, the LFO follows the song position in the host. Sync will synchronize the LFO rate to the host tempo. When sync is enabled, the LFO rate is displayed in musical values instead of hertz. The delay slider controls the fade in time for the LFO depth to go from zero to the current position. Let's create a basic routing. I'd like to modulate course pitch using LFO1. I'll right click on course pitch, modulate, and select modulate with LFO. And here's the routing. It's automatically created. For more information on modulation, please watch the modulation tutorial. Okay, I'm going to set the trigger mode to note, and let's quickly go through each LFO waveform. Here's the sine wave, random, heartbeat, sample and hold, ramp up, Ramp down, rounded square, square, and triangle. Every time I play a note and this LFO is re-triggered, the pitch is modulated first up and then down. And that's because this LFO is set to be re-triggered at this position in the waveform. The LFOs in Omnisphere can be re-triggered at any position in the waveform by using the phase control. I'm going to set it at 50%, so that when this LFO is re-triggered, the pitch will first go down and then up. Let's try adding some vibrato to this sound. Instead of modulating coarse pitch, I'm going to change the target to fine pitch. I'm going to increase the LFO rate. And let's hear what this sounds like. Okay, now I'd like to control the amount of vibrato I add to the sound by using the mod wheel on my MIDI controller. I'll do that by modulating the LFO depth using the mod wheel. But before I do that, I'd like to mention a really powerful feature in Omnisphere. In Omnisphere, when using LFOs, the depth can be adjusted in two different places, in the modulation matrix and in the LFO itself. This allows a single LFO to modulate many targets at different depths. For example, let's set LFO1 to modulate fine pitch by a small amount by reducing the modulation depth in the mod matrix. Now let's use the same LFO to modulate pan by a wider range. I'll right click on pan, modulate, and from the sources menu I'm going to select LFO1. Here's the modulation routing I just created, and now I can control how much LFO1 will modulate pan by using the modulation depth slider. This works independently of how much LFO1 modulates fine pitch in the routing I created previously. This allows me to have a single modulation source modulating two different targets by different amounts. By modulating LFO1's depth, I can then control how much modulation is applied from LFO1 to fine pitch and pan at the same time. Let's try that. I'm going to right click on LFO1's depth, modulate, modulate with wheel. I'll bring the depth all the way down, and let's go to the mod matrix zoom for a second. Right now, the mod wheel on my MIDI controller is all the way down, so the LFO depth is at zero. Also, notice there's no activity in the first two modulation routings. As I move the mod wheel up, you can see some activity. 
And that's because the output signal of LFO1, which is controlled by its depth, is the input for the first two routings. The signal is then scaled by the modulation depth of each routing, allowing the use of a single source to modulate multiple targets by different amounts. I'm going to move the mod wheel down, and notice how the modulation in the first two routings stopped. Now I'm going to hold a note and slowly move the mod wheel up to introduce some pan and fine pitch modulation. Okay, let's mute this routing for a minute and try something different. I'm going to convert this vibrato into a trill. First, I'm going to set the waveform of LFO1 to a square. And with these settings, if I play a note, let's say middle C, the pitch will be modulated to go both above and below it. That's because the LFO is bipolar. LFOs can be converted into positive unipolar signals by pressing this plus sign. The unipolar modulation can automatically be seen in the mod matrix. Pressing the invert button converts the LFO1 signal that feeds this routing only into a negative unipolar signal, resulting in this case in a trill that goes down a half step. Okay, now let's clear this multi and try creating a rhythmic sound just using LFOs. I've loaded this sound source, originally included in Atmosphere. I'm going to show you an advanced example of how to take this sound source into something completely different. And what I'm going to do is a very modular synth kind of approach. As with other sections in the instrument, LFOs have their own presets, which can be accessed from this drop-down menu. I'll go ahead and load the preset 8th ramps. This preset loads a unipolar down ramp that's in legato mode and is synced to the host at a rate of an 8th note. I'm going to assign this LFO to modulate amplitude. Okay, now I'm going to modulate LFO1's depth using another LFO. First, I'm going to set it to zero, and you can see there's no modulation going on now. I'm going to right click on it, modulate, modulate with LFO and LFO2 is automatically assigned to it. I want it to have this waveform, and I want it to be in legato mode, and sync to the host at a rate of a half note. Let's see what that sounds like. Now let's assign the next unused LFO, LFO3, to also modulate amplitude. I'm going to load the same preset I loaded for LFO1, but I'd like to make some modifications. I want to set it to this waveform, and at a rate of a quarter note. Let's see what that sounds like. Now I want to modulate LFO3's depth in a way that when LFO1 is at its maximum, LFO3 is at its minimum, and vice versa. So I'm going to use the same LFO, LFO2, right click, all mod sources menu, select LFO2, and invert it. Now I'd like to modulate LFO3's rate using a new LFO. I'm going to right click on it and select Modulate with LFO. And the next available LFO, in this case LFO4, is automatically selected. I want to use a sine wave, set it to legato, and sync to the host at a rate of a whole note. I also want the modulation amount to be pretty small. Let's check this out. Now I'd like to use this same LFO, but this time to modulate pan. I'll right click on it, modulate, 
and I know which mod source I want to use. So I'll go to the All Mod Sources menu and select LFO 4. In this case, I'll set the modulation depth at about here. By using only four LFOs, I was able to convert this texture into a complex rhythmic sound.